And the Rockies, two hours late, but they take the field. We have a minute, so let's take a look at the Dodger lineup, same as last night. Todd Hollinsworth, followed by Wayne Kirby and Mike Piazza, Eric Carroll, Raul Mondesi, and Tim Wallach, Delino DeShields, Greg Gagne, and Hideo Nomo. Bill Swift, a marvelous pitcher when he was healthy, came up with a bad arm, unfortunately for the Rockies, who spent an awful lot of money to get him. In fact, Colorado took a beating economically when they signed Brett Saberhagen and Bill Swift, and both of them went down and underway. Todd Hollinsworth, who has been playing brilliantly, has a shot fielded nicely by Swift. It goes hand in hand. If you are a sinker ball pitcher in your career, you must, by the very definition of being a sinker ball pitcher, become a good fielder. The batter now, Wayne Kirby. Ken Caminiti, who led off with a three-run home run. There's a good play by Galarraga. So two down on two hard sinkers, and if you're an infielder for Colorado, you're on your toes. Now here's Piazza. Piazza one for three last night. Slider got him. Dodgers go one, two, three on a couple of hard hit balls. And at the end of half an inning, Dodgers nothing. Rockies coming up. Here's the way the Rockies will stack up. Eric Young at second. Quinton McCracken, Ellis Burks, and Donnie Bichette. Andres Galarraga, Vinny Castilla, Steve Decker, the catcher. Nefi Perez, we'll tell you more about him a little later. Walt Weiss strained a calf muscle last night, so the rookie Perez will be at short. And the pitcher Bill Swift, who set the Dodgers down in order. Hideo Nomo, he is 15 and 10, 2 and 0 oh against Colorado this year, and he is 3 and 0 oh against the Rockies in his career. So Eric Young, Quinton McCracken, and Ellis Burks. And Young is just wearing out the Dodgers, hitting 468 against his old club. A drive into right center field and deep. Kirby's going to get his face wet. One away. Any ball hit in the air here by the Rockies elicits a roar from the crowd. Quinton McCracken leading 7-3, top of the third inning. And they'll settle for that one run. And McCracken who can run is a boy. McCracken has stolen 14 out of 17. Ellis Burks not only had a fabulous week when he was named player of the week hitting 643. McCracken goes. The pitch is outside. The throw kicked out of the glove. So McCracken arrived with the ball and Gagne couldn't hold on to it. Hit in the air to right field. Mondesi to the track. Tagging up is McCracken. And he will move over to third. And with a runner at third, that's always a big consideration for Nomo. Out first inning, no score. Donnie Bichette and then Galarraga. Bichette hitting 321. Got him on a splitter. So Bichette strikes out. They leave McCracken. And at the end of an inning, no score. One ball and no strikes. Lost the road show. Round ball, fair ball, long throw by Castillo. So one away in the second. See, two base hits last night, and his stock has been on the rise for quite a while. And he hits one a blooper into the gap, and it's going to fall. And Raul's not about to stop at first. So a bloop double. McCracken trying to short hop it and couldn't do it. With his 67. Little fly ball dunker into left center. McCracken trying, couldn't do it. Wallach has not done very much in the past against Swift, San Diego. Line drive base hit. Charging the ball is Burks, and they will stop. Mondesi at third. Bad throw. 
It got away from everybody. Scoring is Mondesi. Down to second goes Wallach. So Wallach, a base hit to left. Burke's throw. They had stopped Mondesi. It went over the head of the cutoff man. Got by Decker. Got by Swift. And Mondesi came in with the first run. Ground ball to Galarraga. The play to Swift. And Wallach takes third. Over Castilla's head. But then why Decker and or Swift couldn't catch it, that's another story. And that's going to be hit into left field. That picks up Wallach. And so they pitch to the number eight man in the lineup. And Gagne says thank you, gets a base hit and a run batted in. Nomo has nine hits, two RBIs, strikes out about half the time. Ground ball to Castilla. So the Dodgers get two runs, three hits, one error, and a man left, and at the end of an inning and a half, Dodgers two, Rockies nothing. Armas hit 43 in 1984 with Boston. The Cat had eight RBIs in the game against them with two three-run home runs. This time, they'll just put him on. Second walk given up by Nomo, and the batter will be Castilla, first pitch. But Castilla sure is the toughest one around. Got him on the splitter. Second strikeout for Nomo, so he's balancing his books for the moment. Two walks, two strikeouts. Pressure. You may remember, first came up with the Giants a few years ago, back in 1990 to be exact. There goes Galarraga, the pitch in the dirt, and Piazza can't make a play. So Galarraga steals his 18. Losing his bat and striking out at the same time. Third strikeout for Nomo. And the batter will be Nepi Perez. Nepi Perez, he's from the Dominican Republic. He set a Coast League Nef. record at Colorado Springs. In a Pacific Coast League game, he had seven hits. Pop fly, back at third, down the line. Gagney slamming over. And that's that. So nothing across. They leave Galarraga. And at the end of two, Dodgers two, Rockies nothing. Todd robbed of a hit. Hard ground ball. Time pitched here is now picking up for Bob Tewksbury, picking up with Marvin Bernard at first, Kim Batiste at second, and Steve Scarson at third, and one out. He drilled the ball in the first inning, hit it sharply, but right at Galarraga. And he bangs it into right. Hollinsworth is not going to stop. Bichette can't play very well at all out there. Dante never had much of an arm, and with that bad knee, you can really take advantage of him. Mike struck out in the first inning. Bill now, Padre seven, Giants four. Ground ball to Perez, easy double play. Scoring is Hollinsworth, and the Dodgers lead 3 0. No RBI for Piazza, who's shaking his head going back to the dugout. There's a hopper to the hole on the grass is EY to get him, and that's the inning. So the double play slowed them down, but they did get a run, and at the end of two and a half, Dodgers three, Rockies nothing. Bonds at second base with two out, and Bill Swift, a one hopper to Delino De Shields. One away. Two runs, four hits. Rockies, no runs, no hits, and an error. EY playing great ball. High fly ball to left center. Hollinsworth along with Kirby. Kirby's the captain. Bonomo with two out in the third, leading 3 0. If Ismael Valdez made some bad pitches last night, and after all, he had. Ground ball to the Shields. 
And that'll be that. A nice three innings for Nomo. Ross will be along in a minute. And at the end of three, Dodgers three, Rockies nothing. Rondesi doubling with one out of the second. And he has one pass with down to second, backhanded by E.Y. And Young slow. Got Mondesi. Nice play by Eric Young. He worked so hard on his defense over the last year. Got in for the Dodgers, and that'll bring on Tim Wally. As for the second night in a row, Don Baylor elected to face Gagnon. Chopper out to Perez. As he takes his time and throws out Tim. So quickly two gone in the Dodger fourth and that'll bring on to Shields because well first of all the Rockies have an outside shot at making the playoffs and if he pitches well could give Bill a mental boost entering spring training next year. Little topper back to the Rockies pitcher. John Haraga saved you that one. Three ground balls the Dodgers story in the fourth and at the end of three and a half Dodgers three and Colorado nothing. Burks fly to right his first time up. Ellis has had a career year. 3 1 pitch. That's low ball four. So Hideo had walked three men tonight. Second time he has issued a leadoff walk. And now here's Bichette who struck out his first time up but hasn't thrown out many runners. You know, Colorado is 21 for 21 against Piazza this year now. Bichette went too far. Strike three. That's the first out in the Rockies fourth inning. For Nomo's fourth strikeout, and Bouchette's anger at Bill Hahn. He thought he held up in time. Wayne Kirby is playing about as deep a center field as possible. Ground ball to the right of Gagney. Keeps it from going through. Gets one. They don't get two, but a great play by Greg. And they get a force out on Ellis Burks. Swing Castillo looks a fly ball to Mondesi. It's carrying Mondesi to the track, has a play, and makes the catch. At the end of four, Dodgers three, Rockies nothing. Well, congratulations to the Cleveland Indians. Tonight they became the first major league team to qualify for postseason play. Gagney pops it up. Calling for it, the center fielder, Quentin McCracken. Here's a day of wants to third his first time up with the four coming up in San Diego starting Thursday afternoon. That'll do it for Nomo and for Bill Swift. That's his second strike. He got Piazza in the first inning. Here's Hollingsworth who has bounced back to Swift walked and scored around and Todd sends a chopper out to Eric Young. And another easy inning for Bill Swift. He has retired eight in a row since Kirby's third inning single at the end. A four and a half inning. Dodgers three, Rockies nothing. No more trying to win his 16th. For the Phillies. Hit to right field. Mondesi off to his left. One hands it. One out, and that'll bring on the young shortstop, Nafi Perez. Padres in the National League wildcard race. Montreal opens a five game series in Atlanta Thursday. Remember? Looped out to Wallet for the second out of the inning. Adele Nomo has been working out of a stretch the last two innings. Swift, in fact, is now into the third inning. He's done it. And the first thought was, well, maybe he forgot there was nobody on base. But I think a better explanation is he and Dale Wallace may have talked it over between innings, and Adele might have said, I just feel more comfortable tonight not winding up. Chased and missed. So Nomo with his fifth strikeout. The Rockies go one, two, three. Through five. Dodgers three. Colorado nothing. Want to keep real games in 10 days. Dodgers and Padres. Ramon Martinez and Fernando Valenzuela Thursday afternoon. Just 18. Kirby drives one to the right field corner. And this will be a fair ball. Bichette bare hands. He's gunning it towards second. But Kirby in sliding with a leadoff double. That's the second double of the game for the Dodgers. Mondesi had the double of the second inning. 
Kelly the Pirates, he won't be back to manage in Pittsburgh next year. Out and Swift 3 1 pitch. Ball four. Two on, nobody out, and here's Karras, who's grounded out twice. They went one for 11 with men in scoring position. Karras slugged one into center field for a base hit. That's going to get Kirby home. On the way to third, Piazza. 4 0 Dodgers. And Eric Karras has 105 runs battered in. The bats in the bottom of the six. They'll have the top of the order. Young with Kraken and Burks. Base hit. Piazza scores. Karras will stop at second. 5 0 Dodgers. So three hits plus a walk in the inning. So Swift gave him five plus innings. I think Don would have been very gratified before the game to know Bill could go five. Swift they tried to go to the sixth and he just maybe ran out of gas. Double walk, two singles. And Bill Swift will leave. Dodger lead five nothing and we'll be back in Denver right after this. Worked an inning in two thirds. We'd work two thirds within here Thursday against the Braves. They did not go on ball four. So they're loaded up for Delano, and Delano is due. Hey, let like Chad Fonville play second base. Chad Fonville had a blue single in 14 at bats. Another three chip pitch to the Shields. Strike three called, and Delano knew it. And now he's two for 38. They beat Jamie Wright last night. Popped up foul, might be a play. Yes. Fought by Steve Decker. So one minute the Dodgers had the bases loaded, nobody out. And now two out, still three on, and the Dale Nomo is the batter. Four doubles. He struck out a little under 50% of the time. Curve ball hit the short. Perez will rob it to Young for the four shots. So out of all that, the Dodgers get two runs on three hits and leave three. At the end of five and a half, Dodgers five, Rockies nothing. We're going to the bottom of the sixth inning in Denver. Adeo Nomo and the Dodgers leading the Rockies 5 0. Colorado still without a hit. Remember, Eric Young stole five bases against Adeo Nomo in five innings. Nomo didn't throw a pitch for a long time. We'll see if it affects him. Pitch. High ball forward. So they'll watch Nomo closely now. Lead off man aboard for the third time in six innings. Eric Young stole eight of his first 30 bases this year with a Dale Nomo pitcher. And he got him picked off. Karras bluffing. Gives it to Gagne. Nomo will get in the play. Gagne gives it to Dale. And EY is out. Big out. So I think Eric was going to go. And Nomo run it well. Tap right back to Dale. And for five and two third innings, Adele Nomo has not allowed a base hit. Ferris will go to the mound for the Padres in the bottom of the seventh in a 7 7 time. Come back here, Nomo helps himself with the glove. And folks, we might have a little story working here. For six innings, Adele Nomo has no hit for the Rockies. Then back in a moment, Dodgers lead it 5 0 as we go to the seventh. Rounded out, so Todd is 0 for 2. On the corner, Todd was all set to throw the bat away for ball four. The one out in the seventh. You be the umpire. Watch the glove of the catcher. He didn't do a good job. I'll tell you one thing. Becker, the catcher, made it look worse than it was. 
Kirby grounded out hard to Galarraga, single to right, double to right. And that's going to be a little flare into right field. So Kirby, who drilled the ball in the first inning, but Galarraga was right there to take a hit away, now gets a bloop single to right, his third base hit. It's 100 against Reed. And he has a double and four home runs against Reed. Hit that off the end of the bat, broke the bat. It's a dunker, and McCracken trapped the ball, I believe, and it's called an out. Ed Rapuano indicating out on a busted bat fly ball to shallow center. Yep, he great call. So McCracken, an excellent catch to take a base hit away from Piazza. Wayne Kirby has stolen four out of six. On the corner, a tantalizing pitch. So Reed sets him down, puts up three strikeouts. The Dodgers leave Kirby, and now can he do it? Well, we'll find out. Hideo's heading for the mound. Leading the Rockies five to nothing, bottom of the seventh. And for Hideo Nomo, he is center stage. The eighth inning, a runner at first, and Barry Bonds the batter. And down goes Bichette as Nomo strikes him out three times tonight. He had walked. Galarraga hit one heading to left field. Gagne could never have gotten Galarraga. Another fastball hit to right, but Mondesi is there. That thing must have been in a bank of lights. And Raul tried to bend so he could look under the lights and pick up the ball. Two down, and Benny Castilla the batter. Well, now, one ball, one strike. High fly ball to right center. It's playable. Kirby says he has it. All right, we've gone seven. From now on, it gets serious, believe it or not, at Coors Field in Denver. Adeo Nomo has not allowed a hit. Dodgers leading the Rockies five to nothing. Hideo Nomo has not allowed a hit. Brian Ricar will be facing Raul Mondesi, Tim Wallach, and Delino DeShield. Raul, a pop fly double, grounded out and single to right to drive in a run. Line drive, base hit, big overhand breaking ball, and Mondesi straightened it out. So for Raul, that's his third hit. He and Wayne Kirby each have three. Five runs, nine hits for the Dodgers, no runs, no hits for the Rockies. Last ball got Tim. Cab looking with the base loaded in the sixth inning. One and one. Fly ball to left center. Going back is McCracken to pick it off. Nice play by Q. Here's Gagne. Single, fly to center, fouled out. One for three. And that's going to be hit into center. Base hit. Mondesi around second. He's going to keep on going to third. So the Dodgers have first and third with two out. And Hideo Nomo coming up. Anybody who can pitch seven innings here and not allow a hit ought to be carried up to home plate in a gold sedan chair. Knock off the Padres. 9-7. And Nomo a base hit to right to score Mondesi. And the Dodgers lead 6 to nothing. Fly ball to center, it's playable. McCracken is there. All right, Nomo running the bases very easily. Decker, Perez, and the pitcher spot do up with the Dodgers leading six to nothing. And let's see if he can do it in the eighth inning. As Hideo Nomo warms up, we were checking with NHK, the Japanese television company televising back to Japan to make sure 
And they were telling us that right now it is 4.30 p.m. in Tokyo. And you can imagine how the word has spread throughout Japan about what Nomo has done so far and the tremendous interest in what lies ahead. Chad Curtis is now in center for Wayne Kirby. And Terry Jones, a switch hitter, is batting for Steve Decker. Right. So Terry Jones, one of the kids called up, hitting for Decker with Perez on deck. Got him looking, so Jones joins the club. That is the seventh strikeout for Hideo. Perez fouled out and lined out. One and two. Ground ball to the Shields. All right, now we got ourselves a little confrontation. We had two kids in Jones and Perez. John Vanderwall has 16 hits coming off the bench. Foul tipped and Piazza is staggered by it. Timeout. Bad hurt. Fastball, a crack bat, and a pop fly, and Wallach has it. And believe it or not, for eight innings in Coors Field in Denver, Hideo Nomo has not allowed a hit. Don't go wandering on. Robbie Beckett is the pitcher. Robbie 6'5, 225, out of Austin, Texas. Big chopper off the glove, deflected to Perez, who tries to get him. Almost did, but not quite. So Curtis a base hit. Great effort by young Perez. Boy's got a lot of talent. So Curtis an infield single. Piazza and DeShields are the only batters without hits. In the dirt, that gets away from Jeff Reed, and down to second goes Chad Curtis. Once they're tough to pitch to. High fly ball to right. Bichette is there, tagging is Curtis. Bichette for the catch, and Chad's coming over, and the throw not in time. So an infield single, a wild pitch, and a fly ball. And Curtis is at third with one out. Garrett's got a key base hit. And Eric hacking away, losing his balance, still up there. It's a little treacherous around home plate with all the sand. Three and two. Fastball missed. First and third, that'll bring up Mondesi. He has scored two, knocked in one. He's had a big evening. Got to do something. There's no way you can just sit there. So, time to clean your spikes. Mitch Poole ignoring his presence. Dave Wallace not saying a word. Piazza walks away. Ashley walks by him. Breaking ball hit down to third. Castillo to second, but a high throw would not have gotten Mondesi anyway. So scoring is Curtis, and the Dodgers lead seven to nothing. So Mondesi picks up his second run batted in as he forces Carroll. And there's a shot. I mean, Wallach got all of that, baby. Halfway up the bleachers, and the Dodgers lead nine to nothing. And so young Robbie Beckett is being welcomed to the big leagues as Wallach put the slug on him. Tim's fourth home run, 19 RBIs. And now Nomo will make his presence felt, giving Wallach a handshake. Three RBIs for Wallach tonight. It's one fist, five knuckles to the other. Two and one. 
Delano grounded out twice, struck out, flied out, 0 for 4. A little bouncer by the mound. EY can't backhand it. And the Shields is aboard. It will go as an infield single. Well, now, Dedeo getting down by the bat rack just in case. Dale, who has a base hit and a run batted in tonight, waits his turn. Ball four. So that means Adeo will come up with two on, two out. Dodgers leading nine nothing. And now he is getting the closest thing to a standing ovation for an opposing pitcher, I'm sure, here at Coors Field. The inning is over, and now, once again, the litany. Young, McCracken, and Burks, and Nomo going head-to-head -head with a no-hitter at Coors Field. Bottom of the ninth inning at Coors Field in Denver, and what so far has happened is what most baseball people felt could not possibly happen, that would be impossible to happen, that anyone could come into this haven for home runs, this nightmare alley, and hold the Rockies to no hits. But that's exactly what Hideo Nomo has done through eight innings. Hit. Fastball hit down to DeShields. One away. And now Nomo has done something else you don't see here. He has the crowd at Coors Field rooting for him. McCracken walked, stole second, reached third in the first inning, grounded to the Shields, hit back to the box in the sixth. Ground ball to the Shields. He is one out away, and Ellis Burks, the National League Player of the Week, is standing in Nomo's way of a no hitter. Becker and Nomo reached up and grabbed it and threw him out. And now the picture will tell the story. I ah, shut up. Ken Fukuhara and Masanori Murakami. Sa no mo no hit no run ni mukete ato out one. Batter is three no box. Fat one end one. of last year came close he had a one hitter against the Giants but tonight he did it what a moment and what a place to do it against a team with 212 home runs that had scored over 900 runs a team that joins only seven other teams in National League history to score over 900 runs and he shuts them down completely. Three plays. Gagne on the ground ball by Galarraga. Mondesi on the drive by Castilla. And Nomo on the comebacker by Burks. 